Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well and today I, w I want to do another car rent and today we are going to talk about why I left my old community. Uh, I want to talk about this now because it's fresh in my mind, let's say it like that, because um, Hannah, Hannah Forex just released a really good video about it um, and she covered really great points so I'm going to leave her video uh, recommended here in the top of the video and also in the video description if you haven't seen it yet I really recommend you seeing it this has some inspiration on her I am not going to name any community I am in right now or any community that I was uh, but I have to say that her points were really strong and it, it, it is actually a conversation that I had with her um, a little bit after I left that old community and one thing that I have to say is that I'm extremely grateful for the whole process that the whole process that I've went through until where I'm at now like I'm only where I'm at now because of all the all, all my journey uh, throughout Forex so uh, as some of you know I started with Forex signals um, then I went on to uh, my first community I started learning from there and as you've seen in the video from this week I blew two accounts with Forex signals and I don't beat myself up about it would it be good to have that that money now sure but it's it's gone it's perfectly fine and now I am a better person because of that because of the forex signals now I joined I joined the community and I started learning for myself and only because I started learning for myself am I now in a position where I can say that I am a full-time trader and my goal is to trade the big figures be one of the big guys which in comparison through to all the the amount of money which is traded is still a small guy but just wanted to get the point across that I'm extremely grateful for both communities the one that I was in and the one that I'm in at now and a lot of people just send me a, a message asking me if I left uh, X if I joined Y um, and although I've already said it in a video people still come and ask me for it of course I will always respond um, if you want to send me a DM on Instagram I will always respond it might take a while but uh, I will make sure to respond to every single DM now uh, I want to get this video out because it's it kind of helps people understand why I left the community in my thought process and let's get into it so basically I started learning uh, to, to trade Forex in the first community um, and it was really good uh, it really emphasizes on the processes it emphasizes on the personal growth side of it which is such a big thing setting goals having your processes having routines having all those things it's such an amazing community to learn that in and I saw extreme progress when it comes to trading wise uh, I saw extreme progress and I'm really happy with everything I accomplished in that community uh, I was able to learn the markets thoroughly I was able to trust my own forecasts trust my own processes and that was just great but it came to a point where I was I had some positive months and then I was kind of just doing the break-even dance and although that could indeed be from market conditions and some mistakes that I was making I just thought that with the amount the with them with the amount of work that I was putting in something was just not clicking um, and I had this thought inside my head of like since February uh, of joining the next community but I always said to myself you have to stick to one strategy you have to stick to one strategy learn this uh, and don't try to chop and change which uh, in some cases is quite true but in other cases we have to open our eyes to reality and not as Hannah said put something on a pedestal um, because that was exactly what I was doing so it was a really hard fight that I had with myself uh, about deciding 
if I wanted to leave, if I wanted to keep going, if I wanted to keep putting the work in. Um, and so I called a friend of mine, he, w he was already in another community uh, and he already achieved some of the goals that I wanted to achieve. He was one step further than I was and I've always been told that if you want, if you want advice, learn from who, whoever is in the position that you want to be in uh, and I think this is really valuable advice and that's exactly what I did I reached out to him I wanted his point of view and I decided to give the other community a go again I think one big misconception is that the strategy does not work and I think that's just wrong I think that people just go in with the expectation of getting rich quick uh, even though they don't think so but a lot of the DMS that I get sometimes just show me that and I always try to bring awareness to it uh, so I think that people really underestimate the power of the processes the power of the other community too because I have such a uh, I feel like I have such a strong foundation because of it uh, that it's it's really just mind-blowing and that's why I'm extremely grateful for it one of the things that I saw I saw Hannah posting was that someone sent her a message saying that oh uh, I've just joined the other community and now you come out with this video and in my opinion whoever saw that video and felt that way just didn't understand the whole premise of the video it's all about I think you really have to understand that so many strategies work there some support and resistance strategies work some indicator strategies work some of them are more profitable than others but it all just comes down to your own personality like some people will want to do swing trading some people will want to trade the five minute chart i don't know whatever suits your personality just go and do it and you will not find that out just by looking at what i'm doing or what anyone else is doing you will find it out by trying it out yourself and actually putting the work in so one thing that i really want to get across is that whatever community you join you will have to put an immense amount of work in like you can you can see Hannah now achieving three FDMO funded accounts but you don't know how much she backtested you don't know how much work she put in you didn't know how much she struggled for the last two years like we don't know any of that and probably half of us would not even want to go through that to actually would not go through that to actually get to the point where she is at now um, so I can I can say it straight right here is that what she wanted to say in that video is that whatever suits your style just do it uh, it's really important for you to do something that suits your personality it's not me or her or anyone else that is going to tell you um, what community is best because it comes down to the individual um, and again I'm extremely grateful for both communities and I'm really happy where I am at now so I hope this helped in any way shape or form uh, don't forget to check Hannah's video out the link is going to be down in the description don't forget to follow my Instagram send me a DM if you want to it's at rafaelkimel.fx email with two m's and i really hope this helped i really hope this cleared your mind and yeah that is basically it i'll see you on saturday and i'll see you and on the next current bagus are you talking in code no reason why you got me on hold while i'm beeping i knew something was ignited when you left i wanted more all i want to do is get to know you east to west to north to south the whole you